Hi everybody. So um, recently I heard that people want to create thank you page for here for, for the customers who made the purchase on uh, their WooCommerce store. So I think that I, I have tried some plugins that helps people create thank you page and with all due respect to the developers of those plugins, I don't think uh, those solutions are very easy to use. So I decided to give it a try to create a plugin that helps you create thank you page, the order receive page for WooCommerce. And it turned out that it is not very difficult. To create such plugin and the cool thing about the plugin I'm going to show you is you can integrate um, the, the thank you page into any page builder such as Elementor, uh, Visual Composer or, or even uh, the, the Gutenberg, Gutenberg uh, block editor comes with WordPress. So without further ado, let me show you how the plugin works. But first, let's test this. I'm going to make a purchase here on my local store. Very quickly, I go to view card and go to proceed to check out. Oh, I'm sorry. It seemed, it seemed I charged my checkout page. Uh, so I go to pages here, go to the trash, and I'm going to okay, let restore this. Okay, let me go to the store and make the pages very quickly again. Okay, go to checkout here. And I'm going to place the order. And here is the general checkout page. And uh, this is the, the thank you page, the order receive page. So you can see all the details here. But what if you want to uh, rearrange the order of these, these items? What if you want to customize? Or what if you want to upsell? For example, we want to insert other products into this page because the customer, the customers may uh, may buy more from you if you put uh, some more products here. So let's go to plugins, and this is my plugin. I'm going to activate that. <coughs> And the plugin is activated. And if you scroll down, you'll see that uh, it is the plugin here. Oh, thank you, builder. Actually, it's not a builder, but it will let you set the thank you page for uh, product per category or per product if you want. Or you can set up a general thank you page here. So, first, Let's go to create some pages. So I'm going to create a very general thank you page. I name it general thank you page. But make sure you name it uh, to, to, to make the page suitable to your store. So this is uh, the thank you page, the general thank you page. I'm going to publish that. I'm going to create another thank you page for the categories SSD. So any any time people customer buy from buy products from this uh, category SSD, then this particular thank you page will display. So 
and the page for SSD. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to publish first, and I'm going to create another one. And this time, I'm going to create the thank you page for a specific product. So uh, this one, Dell Optiplex. Okay, Dell Optiplex. Thank you page. So the the order of priority is. Okay, let me explain it later when we, we are in the plugin. Okay, so I have created three thank you pages and there isn't a content in that. We'll fix that later. Now go back to my plugin and you can see why. So the first thing I need to do is to set a general thank you page. You leave it blank if you don't want to set a general thank you page. In such case, then uh, WooCommerce will use the default thank you page. So I go to general thank you page here. And if you want to specify a thank you page for any category, you can select it here. For example, I want to set a thank you page for the SSD category, for products in the SSD category. Then I will select the category here and select the select the page here thank you page for HID and if you want to spe specify for other category simply click on the add button here and select for, for example business PC then specify your your page here but I I don't don't want to set uh, a, spe a special thank you page for business PC I have just remove that and here Finally, um, I want to uh, if you want to specify a thank you page for a particular product, then you will specify it here. So uh, this is the page I want to set for Dell Optiflex, and set, uh, similar to a category, you can set multiple thank you page for multiple products. So uh, that's it. That is our settings. So when the person, the customer, buy Dell Optiflex, this page will show up. When a person buy a product in the SSD category, and there isn't any any product specific thank you page, then this page will will show up. And when uh, none of these option are met then this page will show up if you set it. So I click on save settings here. Okay, and see that that is done. Now we'll go back to to edit our thank you page in our visual page builder, which is Elementor that I'm using here. So I'm going to edit the thank you page for the Optiplex. I got the pages here, and the Optiplex thank you page. I'm going to edit this page and edit with Elementor. So here is where you want to uh, you are going to customize the thank you page. So how do you uh, customize the the look and feel of the of the thank you page. So here uh, first, I recommend you create the layout first. You may want to create columns, uh, anything like that. But for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to keep it simple. First, I'm going to add a heading, and I want to to thank you the customer so I thank you and I want to give uh, to, to enter the customer name here so I'm going to put a short code here and this short code are available if you activate the plugin only so here is the list of short code and 
you will find the full list of shortcode in the link in the description but I'm going to give the full name here so this is uh, that will be this will be the full name okay and next what 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 is next I want to um, show them the other details so this is the shortcode for other details just that and Elementor will pass the other details if available as I have purchased a product then uh, it will show up here don't worry if it doesn't match your um, if it doesn't match your purchase uh, because uh, uh, don't worry if uh, you see uh, SSD here uh, but uh, since we are editing a page for Dell Optiplex don't worry about that okay and finally I will add some uh, billing address and shipping address here I'm going to column add some columns here some heading here okay shipping address and I'm going to drag the text text editor right below here and another another header for billing address billing address another text here text editor the process will be the same for other page page builder sorry I need to delete this oh not this one text editor oh I don't know why I can put the text below viewing. Uh, okay. Let's duplicate this, duplicate this. Can I? No. Why? It's crazy. Ah, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to enter the shipping address here billing address here the shortcode for billing address delete this and then the shortcode okay and we see that it shows here uh shipping address here so that's it and you may want to add more details here because we have at least a full full list of of uh, short codes here you may want to add some some more details for example I'm going to add the order URL text enter maybe order number and order URL order number that's it view order URL okay text editor order URL not sure if it works correctly so this is the order URL okay so I'm going to update the page now we are going to buy the Dell Optiplex and see if we have this thank you page. Now go back to our shop. Dell Optiplex here. View card. Going to proceed to checkout. And here I'm going to change the name like 
Louis, sorry, Louis on Bethel, something like that. The customer company. I don't have any company. Okay, so the details seems to be okay. So I'm um, click on place order, and hopefully we will see the the Autiplex thank you page we have just created. Place order. That one. So I can, as you can see that we have the page here and with all the details here. Uh, so um, sure you can customize this to match you need because Elementor is very powerful and I'm, I'm using the free version and the pro version you can, can do the same. Um, just, uh, just a quick, quick tip that uh, I mentioned that you can add some products here, add more products. Okay, so uh, for example, I want to add a heading here and uh, provide a list of recommend recommended product. You may also no uh, people also buy okay social proof. I don't know if Elementor support support WooCommerce uh, well enough, but recent view product, okay. So you can you can drag the element here, and if the person has has viewed the product, then he will see. The list of products here, and he may, uh, well, he may buy more. I am going to refresh this page, and since I haven't viewed any any recent product, then I will not see any products here. But you get my idea. Let me try one more product. <coughs> products. This this one. Doesn't look very very beautiful. Okay, maybe. Okay. I think that there are plugins that offer better product uh, gallery, so you can put here. Um, that may they may they may let you add upsell products here. You may need to find the such plugins. So I click on update and view the page again. <coughs> and here, here it is. Not very well designed, but you get the idea. You can add some more products here. So <coughs> as you can see, with the with a powerful uh, page builder, you can create customized thank you page for WooCommerce products. And with the short codes here. You can uh, add any kind of metadata to the customer's order here to make it very, very personal. And by the way, if you want to hide this one, you want to hide uh, this title. I don't know if Elementor allow you to hide this, but um, I can show you very quick, quick tips that you on Chrome is right click on the title. And here we go. So first, you, you need to get the post ID, the the article ID. Because if you select this one, then you will hide the title of every page. Every pages. I'm going to get this one, and this is the H1 we want to hide. Page title. It is the the class of this title. I'm going to customize. Let me go here. Uh, okay, seems HTML. I'm going to put HTML here. You can you can put HTML anywhere. So I'm going to edit the code here. Start. Start. Okay. And okay. Post title. Is that correct? A uh, page title. Sorry. 
page and make sure you have a space here at least one space but one is, is enough and display no it's a bit of serious tip that you may want to, uh, to use so we view the page again there isn't any page title anymore just a thank you thank you message so that is that is the plugin hopefully you find find it interesting you can get the plugin uh, by following the button the link in the description and if you have any questions just simply let me know i will uh, get back to you very very soon thank you very much for watching and um, i'll see you soon